Hello there everyone, my name is Ruxley and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon White. We're here now at the top of Victory Road, up there is the Pokemon League, but we're not going to do that quite yet. We're going to start it next episode, but today I'm going to do one last thing, and that is if we go down here and we move on to the left, I believe it is, yes, then we can run out of Repel, which is always good, always cool. We'll just try up a new one real quick. Now, if we go over to the left here, you have this chamber. And inside this chamber, called the Trial Chamber, there's another one of the legendaries. This is the third. Um, we already caught Phrygian and Cabalion, and this is the third one of those. So, what I recommend you to do right now is to save your game and get ready for a battle. Okay. I'm done. Let's go. Grrrr. Yeah, yeah, it is Terrakian. Also level 42. Terrakian is a rock fighting type, specializing in amazing physical attack. It also has great speed and defenses and HP, so it can take hits and deal them just as hard. Now, as per usual, I'm always gonna use my first turn to throw a quick ball, just in case, you know, I get lucky. Now, Terrakian mostly has uh, rock and fighting type moves, but also has some uh, nice ground type moves here and there, uh, which definitely help it out. Uh, I'd say overall, it's one of my favorites, probably, of the um, trio. I don't, I don't really even know why. I, I've just always really liked it. I, I just think it's, it's, it's quite cool. Uh, let's go for the X Scissor, because we got to weaken it a little bit, um, but we don't want to do it too much damage. Uh, luckily, Titan uh, is pretty effective at taking it out. Now, I'm not going to be using it because, well, as you all should know, I'm not a fan of using legendaries in my main game uh, team. But, you know, if you want to use one, go right for it. Like, there is nothing saying that you can't use them it's just a personal choice of mine to not use any um hopefully this flare blitz won't do too much i mean it is quite powerful but it should only do half damage yeah there we go there we go uh what do i want to go for next i'm not sure if another fire punch would be too much or not do I have anything that can hit it weakly? Uh, I really don't know. You know what, I'm just gonna try it and uh, throw some balls at it because... Well, that's kind of what you do with legendaries. You throw Pokeballs at it until you got lucky. Um, but yeah, Terrakion is a great Pokemon really and... Wow. What? Wow. I did not expect to catch it right there, but hey, hey, you know, I'll take it. I'll gladly take that. Its charge is strong enough to break through a giant castle wall in one blow. This Pokemon is spoken of in Legends. We will not be giving it a nickname and transfer it to a Manita PC. So, that catches that legendary. For, the, for now, I want to do some grinding. As you can see, your team right now, we're all in like the lower 40s, except for prototype. And I want to get everyone up to level 50. Um, I, I'd recommend that if you're going to take on the Elite Four, get them to level 50. That's probably a good level to have your team at um, before you enter the Elite Four. Uh, unless you want a bit of a challenge, then you can go for a lower level, of course, you know. But this is. This is for like those who have trouble with it. So I'm going to train up my team, uh, decide which six Pokemon I want to use for the Elite Four. And I will meet you with you guys in just a little bit. For you guys, it will probably just be like 10 seconds. Um, and I will go over the team that I'm going to use. So until a little bit. All right, all done training up. And my voice sounds a little bit different. It's because I'm actually recording this a day later. The grinding took up a bit longer than I expected. So that's why. Um, now, I want to show you real quick 
in my bag, I stored up on a lot of items. I got a bunch of hyper potions because those will fill up my Pokemon health fully as all of them have under 200 HP. Um, I also still had some max potions so those are useful and some full resource. Then there's a, a bunch of revives in case anyone dies because you can't go back to the Poke Center. Um, and I have some max revives left over. And then finally a bunch of full heals in case any status conditions arrive. But that's not what you're here for. You're probably curious about my team. Well, let's reveal them one by one. Just for that little bit of extra suspension. First off is Prototype or Archeops or Flying Rock type and wow it is looking good. With 156 attack at level 48, all of my Pokemon are level 48 by the way, I didn't feel like grinding them up all the way to 50, I think 48 should suffice. Um, and it also has a decent special attack, although I'm not going to be using any of that. I'm just hoping to hit hard physically with a high speed. So we have Acrobatics which will deal 110 base power damage as we are not holding any item, uh, plus Stab. Uh, then we have Rock Sight, which will hit hard because of the stab. We have Crunch as uh, Dark will come in quite handy. And then finally Dragon Claw, which will come in handy if we encounter any Dragon types. Uh, because, well, relying on Shirokuma purely for that would be a little bit risky, I thought. So I felt like, you know what, this, uh, this moveset should fit Prototype quite well. And I'm sure Prototype will see a lot of use during the Elite War. Next up is Titan or Excadrill. At also at level 47, 48 it has immense attack with 159. Yeah, that is high. Um, it also has really good speed at 100, although its other stats aren't the greatest. Um, I've gone for Earthquake, which will deal a lot of damage, plus it's holding the soft sand, so that will get boosted even further. This will destroy things. Um, I've gone for Brick Break just because a good fighting type move generally comes in handy. Um, X Scissor uh, will come in very helpful as well against any Psychic types or Dark types um, or any Grass types even. And then finally Sword Stance. Uh, if, we, if I know that I'm going to use Titan for several Pokemon in a battle, I'm just going to set up a Sword Stance and then I can easily sweep the entire trainer because his attack stat will be out of the world. Next up is Shirokuma or Beartic. Also at level 48, it has an attack of 144. None of its other stats are amazing, but it has decent defenses too, so uh, I can't complain there. Um, I've gone for uh, Never Melt Ice as an item on it, just to make the Ice Cold Crash hit even harder, uh, and hopefully we can get some lucky flinches. Uh, allowing him to move several times in a row. I've gone for the Brick Break because just like with uh, Titan, a fighting type move never hurts. A Shadow Claw in case we encounter any Ghost or Psychic type Pokemon that can never hurt. And well, I didn't really know what else to use and it's special attack, it's not good. L I'll be honest here. Um, but I didn't have any physical water type moves that Shirokuma could learn so I was like, you know what? Just in case a water type move is necessary, I'll add you give him the serve or give her the serve. So that's what Shirokuma looks like. Then next up is Natsu, holding a charcoal to boost its fire type moves as well. It's a pure fire type. Its attack is 154, so amazing as well, and a speed of 111, so that will work out very nicely. Um, we have a fire type move with fire punch here uh, that won't leave anyone with a burn because of its ability but it will boost the power even further than 75 then we have super power um, which is a 120 base power move great love it uh, flare blitz 120 base power fighting type move great amazing and it can leave some uh burns on the target lowering their physical attack and then finally belly drum i haven't used it thus far but this will maximize our attack stat even though we drop our hp to half if i can get this off then heal back up to full health i can sweep teams so i'm, I'm curious to see if uh, i'll be able to try that out during the elite four Next up is Voltage or Galvantula. Um, 
specializing mainly in special attack. That's right, we have a special attacker on our team after all those four physical attackers. Uh, it adds some nice variation. So we're holding a magnet to boost our uh, electric type moves. And what our moves have consists of, well, full switch, just in case we can start off any battle with voltage and then just switch out with full switch in case uh, we need to if, in, if we run into an opponent that doesn't really provide the best matchup for voltage. Then we have Thunder, 120 base power, that accuracy of 70 doesn't matter because we have compound ice, so we'll still hit hard. Um, signal Beam, very good buck type move. And finally, I just added Sucker Punch. It's really, I there wasn't anything else I could add to voltage right now that I felt would be good. So I thought, you know what, Sucker Punch, in case, um, I'm really low in health and I want to guarantee a first attack. Sucker Punch will get the trick done. And finally, I've decided to bring Erosion back into the team. Now, you might think like, oh, but you haven't evolved it yet, have you? Yeah, I tried. I couldn't get it to work. Um, my original DS actually broke. Like, the hinges of it broke. So I don't have another DS to trade with. So... Unfortunately, it's stuck as an erosion for now. I might try to get uh, a trade going with a friend at some point, but I'm, I'm not going to make any promises. But you know what? I felt like bringing erosion back one last time because, well, it's a physical defensive wall. And I thought, you know what? I could use some physical defensiveness. Plus, its ability starting means we'll always be able to get at least one uh, turn to do something. Now we have Rock Slide, just a hard rock type move, hitting hard, um, as well as Headbutt, which I should replace for strength. I'll do that real quick uh, after this. And Stone Edge, which is another high uh, rock type move with a bit lower uh, accuracy, so that if high, higher risk, uh, but higher reward. And finally, we have Toxic. Now, if I ever come across a Pokemon where I'm just not sure what to do, I can always just put Toxic on it. That will drain their health little by little, and I can just stall with erosion. We're gonna just use our hyper potions to heal back to full health. Whatever they do, we'll still survive it with one hit point on, and we can just uh, restore back and back and back. And the toxic will slowly eat them down. So I thought, you know what? It's a last ditch everything, but it could turn out to be helpful. So that is the team that I'm going for. So next time around, we will be starting to battle against Elite Four. So, until then. If you enjoyed the episode, leaving a like below would help me out a lot. And I hope you guys are all excited for the Elite Four. See you guys then. Bye.